Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making some sea foam candy, which is a, well, it's just like sea foam or a sponge, and we'll be making it and then dipping it in chocolate for the holiday spirit. We wanted to line a nine inch springform pan with parchment paper, and you'll want to bring, you're going to be creating a mold so that you're going to put your candy into. And so what's really important is, and this is how you're going to get it out of the mold, but you're going to want to make sure that the mold goes three or four inches above. So what I've basically done is taken some normal parchment paper, cut a piece, and then fold it in half, and then this should bring me well above the top of my springform pan so I don't have a lava volcano of sea foam, which I had the first time I made this, which was a real disaster. So let's get going. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to spray with some Pam. And by the way, I am not supporting or sponsored by anybody, but I just use what I've got. Some Pam on my pan. And I took a pencil and I drew a line around the bottom and I made a form and cut it out. Make sure you put the lead side or the ink side down so you don't get that in your candy. And you're going to stick that to the pan. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put my bottom in, load it up. And now I've got my spring form, I've got my bottom of my paper here. And I'm going to go ahead and just spray the inside of that so it sticks. So what I did was I sprayed the inside and then I used a paper clip here to connect them and I used a little bit of spray on the inside here so I could make them stick together. So now I have my form and I'm ready to make my candy. So to begin, what I'm going to add and I pre-measured this, and if you have any end questions on how to measure sugar or liquids, then you might want to go back to a basic cooking. But I have two and a half cups of granulated sugar. And I have two-thirds of a cup of corn syrup, two, tablespoon, two teaspoons of vanilla, and six tablespoons of cold water, which I've mixed together, and I'm going to add to my sugar mixture here much of that syrup out of there as I can. So I've got that. And then I'm going to mix this together well with my spat, with my whisk. And I'm also going to get my temperature heat on. Okay, I'm going to put that on high for right now and put it down to medium once I get this all mixed up. So once I get it mixed and going, with the candy thermometer, you basically let it sit until it hits 300, which is the hard crack stage. So what I'm, now I'm going to add my candy thermometer. I'll get that in there. And then I'm going to set it to hard crack, which is going to beep when it's done. And now as you can see, it's starting to boil a little bit along the edges. And so at this point, I'm going to turn the temperature down uh, to about medium, maybe just a little above medium. And at this, then I'm just going to let it go. It's starting to really boil now. We're at about 186 degrees, and we have a little bit of foam in there, but don't worry about it. It will take care of itself. Like I said, the foam was going to take care of itself, and it did. So now we're just bubbling away. We're at about 235 degrees, and it's probably going to sit there for a little bit. But that's okay. We'll just let it get, keep going. Oh, 297, and we are at... Hard car with two. Come on. There we go. And we're at hard crack. I'm turning off the temperature now. Now this is the fun part. And add the baking soda. At this point, you really need to stir this well. You need to get that baking soda really incorporated into this sea foam, or you're going to have problems. It's not going to work. Ah, see that? That is awesome. I love science. Keep stirring it. Well incorporated. Okay. I'm going to turn this around. See how it's growing on this? Ah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Woo! Like really 
me going for it. And as you said, I dumped some on the side. That's not a good thing. But we have a science experiment coming here. Oh my god. There it goes. Apparently I need to have that collar. Just to really reiterate, this is very, very, very hot. So do not touch it, do not futz with it. it. Let it do its thing because there's really not a lot you can do until it's cooled. And it's really important that you have the patience to let this cool. Or, uh, well, as you can tell, it's like lava. And people could get hurt. So be careful and take care.